Hello and welcome to the fourth CPSA How to Hit series sponsored by Browning and filmed here at South Down Gun Club and Shooting School in the heart of the Sussex South Downs. In this series, we're going to be covering international sporting or FITAS sporting as it's commonly known. We've covered English sporting and sport trap, and this is a natural progression in the series. This episode, I'm going to cover the general rules governing the discipline. The first thing you'll notice is now I've got a yellow line on my vest. This is because the gun must be held beneath this line before the target's called for. And it must be the highest point of the stock that's held beneath the line. So on a standard stock, it's the heel, and a Monte Carlo or an adjustable stock like this one, it's the comb itself. That must be beneath the yellow line. The line is 25 centimeters from the apex down and must be of a contrasting color to the vest, so not black on black or white on white. Unlike English sporting, where the shooting is take, takes place from inside a wooden stand or metal cage, fit our shooting takes place from inside a one meter hoop or metal square. This ideally needs to be on level ground uh, and not the slope because FITAS tends to, take, to incorporate a lot of different terrain. FITAS is shot in squads of up to six people. The menu on each hoop contains single targets and pairs and as the squad rotates through the hoops each person takes a time a turn to shoot either the singles or the pairs so everyone gets a chance of shooting first. As you can see from the menu, the singles and there are pairs. The standard targets are the ones, the letters without anything next to it. Anything other than the standard must say what it is, a batu, a midi, a mini, a rabbit, etc. The system we're shooting on this particular layout is the old system. That means there are five traps, three hoops, three menus, or one menu per hoop. And there'll be 15 single targets and five pairs making a total of 25 targets for that layout. Four layouts for a shoot of 100 targets. I mentioned earlier about the line on my vest and the gun being held beneath it. Unlike English sporting, where some people tend to mount the gun as soon as they hit the trap goal or call pull, you can only mount the gun when the target is released and is visible. That means there may be a period of time before the target emerges from behind a tree or a bank, etc. Another big difference you've got here, with the hoop, there's no cage actually restraining where you can move. So therefore, you have the ability to turn your feet and move. Now this is where the referee has to control the squad so that there's no muzzles swinging across the, the, uh, the squad waiting. A new rule introduced recently is please use the bin. Any cartridges dropped on the floor must be put back into the bin after the shoot, or after the shoot is finished shooting and not left strewn around the ground. The best way to really learn about this fit has is download the rules. Rules do change so if you get a chance and you want to do it download the uh, the fit has rules off the fit has website and just keep yourself up to date on what's needed and what's current. And that is a general overview of fit has and how to shoot a, a round of fit has with a squad. The next episodes we'll be covering how to shoot fit has targets and how a target presentation can change by moving from hoop to hoop.